And 2021's been tough enough already, so I thought we might as well just use the electronic calipers. So here's our magnet. Um, here's the calipers, just so you can see. Um, they're zeroed, they're in millimeters. Uh, so let's separate. Um, nice thing about the magnet is it's actually stuck to this, so it's not going to come out. Um, so there you go, that's one dimension, that's the length. Um, and there's the another dimension, you can see that's the, the breadth, like that. Um, and I'm going to measure a third dimension, um, which I'm going to call the height. It's a word I invented. And that's the height. Now you only need two of those, and you're gonna have to read the lab manual to discover which. Um, so that's my way of keeping you honest. We also have to measure the mass of the magnet, so I'm just gonna zero this uh, balance. Um, and I'm just gonna put the magnet in. So that's one reading there. I'll give it a second just to set. There we go. The other thing you might want to check is with electronic balances, if you're weighing a magnet, of course the magnet can affect the reading. So it's useful just to measure it in different orientations to see if there's any kind of uh, significant change. So you can see there actually is um, a difference that's not huge. You know, we're talking well under 0.1 of a gram variation between, uh, but there is a slight range of masses. Okay, so um, you've had a few of those. You can average them out if you like, um, or you can go with 7.3 grams, uh, which is probably close enough, but that should be the reading you need.